veteran broadcaster Sergio Young has died age 95. The long-serving DJ, who spent almost three decades at BBC Radio 2, died peacefully at home on Monday afternoon with his wife Alicia by his side, a family spokesman said. Sir Jimmy was one of the original Radio 1 DJs when the station launched in 1967. He moved to Radio 2 in 1973 and filled the early afternoon slot until he retired in December 2002. Before becoming a presenter on the airwaves, Sir Jimmy had a number of hit singles during the 1950s, including a cover of the Nat King Cole song, Too Young. Obituary, Sir Jimmy Young tributes have been pouring in for the presenter, who was born Leslie Ronald Young in 1921. BBC Director General Tony Hall said, Sir Jimmy Young defined Radio 2 and was a true broadcasting pioneer. He will be dearly missed by his many fans. Sir Jimmy's former Radio 2 colleague Ken Bruce tweeted, So very sad to hear about the death of my old friend Sir Jimmy Young. One of the most stable broadcasters I ever worked with. Time team presenter and Black Hatter actor Tony Robinson said, So sad. Such memories from my childhood and teens. I loved his versions of The Man from Laramie and Unchained Melody. And television presenter Pierce Morgan said, Another giant of British broadcasting dies just months after his great friend and colleague Terry Bogan. The Queen was said to be amongst the millions who tuned into his show on the BBC. Sir Jimmy interviewed every Prime Minister since Harold Macmillan, with Baroness Thatcher a guest far teen times. Bob Shannon director of BBC Radio, said he was a truly unique broadcaster who pioneered a form of presenting that generations have followed. He made current affairs relevant to millions of listeners and helped shape Radio 2 into the station it is today. Landmark Gillian Reynolds, Daily Telegraph radio critic, told the BBC he had an easy affability in interviews. He had a shrewd sense of when to interrupt and when to shut up. He wasn't a soft touch but he brought out the softer side in many a politician, and when he went off, he was often covered by politicians. You wouldn't call Ken Livingstone a soft touch, but he was one of his understudies. Whoever's plan it was having him made an excellent choice, because he is definitely a landmark in British broadcasting history. Sir Jimmy's working life began as a clerk for a minister of education and a manager of a hair salon before he achieved his dream of getting a career in entertainment. The broadcaster left the BBC after more than 30 years behind the desk after a revamp at the station to attract younger viewers by new controller Jim Wire saw him replaced. Sir Jimmy made no secret that it was not his choice to leave, and a motion was even put down in Parliament to keep him on. But he made up with the BBC in later years, hosting a one-off special for his 90th birthday. Jeremy Vine, who took over the Veterans Radio 2 slot, tweeted, Sad to see this news. R.I.P. Jimmy. Fellow broadcaster Tony Blackburn said in a statement, Jimmy was a legendary broadcaster, there at the very start of Radio 1 and then, for so long, the voice of Radio 2. 2016 has been a terrible year for losing iconic figures from our youth. Today we lost another. An LBC radio presenter Dale tweeted,